Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the shop, the machine sat quietly. In the corner, a mop. The nailers were hung on the pegboard with care, because sort, set, and order was in place there. The machines were all idle, you know, but cleanly shut down. At morning, the draftsmen would send the plans down. The foreman at home, sleeping so sweetly, was dreaming of carcasses and face frames and QC. When there on my iPhone, a message appeared. Who had clocked in at this hour? So weird. I went down the stairs and logged into the hard drive, scrolled down to the cameras and clicked number five. The outside back entrance was closed up real tight and so was the front door, as it should be for the night. When what to my wondering eyes should I see but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer? With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. On went the router and the lights on the shelf, and I saw that he had not one, but nine elves. Now measure, now cut, now sand and assemble. Make sure that range hood is plumb, square, and level. Off to the pain booth and onto the table. The elves finished everything, the kicks and the gables. Next on went the molder, spinning knives I could see, but I winced because not one was wearing PPE. The cabinets, all laid out, the uppers and trim, the handles and glides, and even some shims. And then in a twinkling, I heard on my roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished in ashes and soot. In his hands, some reports, our metrics, I guess. Whatever it was, it looked like a mess. He stood next to me with his spectacles low and whispered, found something I think you should know. He showed me my numbers, my metrics, my profits. He showed me the actuals and how far we were from it. Our profit and loss was right there on the table, and old St. Nick showed to me my own fable. He explained that my estimates must be tested against actuals, and that running a wood shop was all about factuals. His wisdom of centuries from running a shop in those cold northern climates way up there at the top. A flick of his red pen and a hearty quick giggle. In a flash, he showed profit leaks with eight tiny scribbles. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, making notes in the margins. For profit leaks, I can't shirk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he went on his way, Happy Christmas to all. Don't forget the EOJ.